Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you all how I'm going to actually make a crochet hat. I did complete uh, my scarf and um, thereafter there was a viewer that wanted to know how a hat is actually made. It is actually made differently. Uh, yeah, I caught something to show. I did complete a hat which, which is actually attached to a scarf and, and I completed another beautiful pattern hat for the little girls that's growing up and I have a similar color wool that I actually want to show you all how to start off a hat. In fact this is a hundred gram. I actually taken out two hats from one hundred gram of wool and uh, I hope you all practiced as I showed you all turning it round then pulling it in. Now for a hat I will go uh, one, two, three, four, five, five uh, stitch so I'll come back to the end and I'll push in my needle through the first uh, loop and pull and then I'll actually pull this in so it's a round and this is the beginning so what can I do I'll just turn it in now since I put uh, five loops I'm gonna make five uh, I'm gonna double it and make ten stitch that's one two three four five six, seven, eight, and there's a bundle of wood, nine, ten. So that's ten. And then now, to go forward, I'm going to push in my needle from the beginning and just pull and then pull it through then that's a perfect circle so thereafter I'm gonna add a stitch in there and now I'm going to actually put in 15 stitch so this is what I'll do I'll go single and in between I'll make a double And then single, then another single, then this will be a double, that will give us two extra. What is the order again? Repeat it. Single, double, single. A double. I had to put in 15 stitch into 10. So I'll go two singles and then I'll put a double so that was so that's almost done so it's we went three doubles that makes another six so we come to the end of another circle so usually when you're making a hat for uh, for someone that's a little big uh, then you had to actually go in five rows of single, double, single, double. But if you go all doubles, then you're going to get it very fur, then you're going to end up getting a doily. So this is a hat. On the fifth row, it will actually have to come into a shape of a cap. So we're starting off again. Now we went 15 almost 16 rows because we gave it three doubles so now we had to go to 
uh, we had to try to make it to 20 stitch. So in between, this is how we work. I'll put a double here, then I'll count it as one extra. Then I'll try to put a single and a, then a double. Then a single and a double. That's three extras. We'll just go single and a double and a single and a double. So that will be actually the third line. This color is quite beautiful. A boy and a girl can actually use this uh, color of hat. Okay, I'm coming to my fourth row now. And um, just to make you all aware, I'm actually using my 4.5 mil uh, of crocheting uh, needle. It's uh, good for the thickness of this wool. And I'm going to continue going in single and double. In fact, we are going to make a plain hat just to show you all. And you can decide on how you like your pattern. As you can see, uh, this uh, from the fifth row of this, I started a pattern that led me into this type of finish. And uh, this pattern is completely different, where I went in full doubles and then brought it to the single, and then I even did the scarves the similar pattern with singles and double and finished off with you can actually have the thread hanging but these are cute finishes so I'm going to try to make a plain and simple hat but I'll give it a nice finish it will look cute see every row of uh, crouching actually give you that extras so you must actually have your hat like forming a roundish finish not too flare otherwise you're going to end up with a doily but practice can make perfect. As I told you all the last time, when you make a mistake, it's very easy to open up these stitches and you can start all over again. Okay, I'm on my sixth row and you can see it from the head type. So now I'm going to stop adding my additional stitches because I'm going to go in uh, just single, single, single because it already formed uh, the top of a hat. And then we're going straight down now. Okay, I reach to the sufficient size that I need. In fact, it's about 18 uh, rows. I think it can actually fit a teenager's head. And so now I'm going to give it a lovely turnover to make it look attractive and complete. And this is how I do my turnover. Now I'm going to put in my wool and pull so I'm gonna have two and then I'm gonna pull in my complete two and I'm gonna continue doing 
just like this so it will give me a closer uh, crotch and uh, it will form a thick band I will go about another 10 lines but I will count it when I'm done and I'll show you all the complete Okay, now I'm about to complete this hat and I made a nice thick band to fold over and you can actually see the stitches are different. It's quite a tighter type of a stitch. Give it a very close knit and this is what I, I went uh, 10 rows on it and now I am going to complete my work so this is how I'm I make it look turn it over and actually show you the hat is complete if it's for a if it's for a girl you can add on a little flower in the center make it look attractive but this is how I'm going to end it off now. I will cut my wool and I'll pull it through and then actually tighten it by going through these loops. And tidy up my work where this unfinished wool and then it's ready to use now that we're getting some colder days coming on this is just good for a lovely plain teenage that wants to go outside you can see how I tidy up my work by pulling extra threads in there you are a nice beautiful hat for the cold days thank you all for watching and keep warm